soulmates fab 15 as i start your weekly forecast now for some of you guys this is spiritual this is a spiritual bond that you do have um with your soulmate or this person already knows that there is a special connection it's not just this is no ordinary this isn't no ordinary love. Oh, I forgot who sang that song. Okay, so this isn't no ordinary love. This is no... Okay, that's enough. That's enough. Okay, okay, okay. So they know this ain't no ordinary love, boo. Okay, so they really, they're into the spiritual thing. This could be someone here that maybe is starting to get into spirituality or something, but they know this ain't or, like ordinary. So it's drawing them closer towards you. Okay, um, for some of you guys, this is something different that you haven't experienced, a new cycle coming in between um, you and this person. This could be a soulmate that's supposed to bring you or show you something different. That's why it, it, it is different. They're different things or different. They may even be different looking to your different, like your usual type. Okay, and this is the whole purpose. So for some of you guys, that's the whole clan. So that could be for both of you guys. Like, you know, um, it's new to you, but it's also new to them. Okay, so there's changes. This is supposed to change you. Now, this person could have been through a lot of changes. Maybe you made a lot of changes as well. Or this is going to help you make a lot of changes. Changes to things that maybe you already needed to know that you needed to make. This person also may bring you some kind of humbling energy. Okay? Whatever that's about. So, um, this is a soul big connection that may humble you. All right, let's take a look, honey. This starts the week of September 6th. First, I'm going to say six. So September 6th could be specific. Maybe that's around the time you're going to meet this person. This person could be a Virgo or you could be a Virgo. Happy birthday, Virgo. My booze. Okay. Love you. I love me, Virgos. <laughs> um, so something like that is going on. All right. Keep in mind, guys, these are general messages. This starts the week of September 1st, but whenever you're seeing and receiving this message, that's when you're supposed to, okay? Um, make sure that you're also subscribed to your Aries Only Placements Love Tarot. Anywhere Aries is in your part, your chart. Okay? So some of you guys got Aries in certain parts of your chart. Take a look at that. Also, when you're looking at that channel, find out where Aries is in your chart so you can apply that message there. That's another way to read um, your birth chart to get a better understanding on your houses. Hmm. Okay. That's good. Okay, cool. Um, all right, anywhere areas is in your chart, karmic energy attachments. You have messages over there, so make sure you are getting your readings. Uh, we are open for personal readings, so if you need anything more personal from me, everything you need to know is down below on getting yourself booked. Okay, guys, they are Zoom readings. All right, the camera is optional. All right, so um, school did start back, so I'm a little bit behind. I will be getting to you guys if I haven't yet for your personals. Okay, guys. All right, let's see what's going on, soulmates. This is no ordinary love. No ordinary love. You think that's, that's an old, that's a classic, too. Mm. Okay. Oh, King of Wands. So, oh, this person is, is, is sexy. And this is also somebody here that think you sexy. Somebody here is horny. This is somebody here wants it. They, this is also somebody here. Do you turn this person on? I have to say something That's what she said. that they just said. This person gets like excited. They can get an erection like every time they're around you. It's like you are different. You could be different from anybody they have ever experienced like this. Like they have never felt like this for somebody else. This spiritual bond is new to them. Mm, maybe you are supposed to show them something. Damn! I'm sorry, the King of Wands. Child. <laughs> Get the Cancerian and Leah. I know I can't stand myself, y'all. This person's having wet dreams about you. I'm sorry. Damn. I hurt constantly. This person is constantly having wet dreams about you, child. Hold on, child. I got to give me something to drink, child. It's getting hot. Woo, child. It's getting hot in here. It's getting hot in here. So take off all your clothes. I am getting so... This person is hot. It's like they bothered, child. They ain't never had no shit like this happen to them before. Oh, my God. I'm seeing this person's boxer. Somebody here wears, like, white and blue boxers. Mm. You make them nervous. Oh, five of coins. This is somebody here that's like you. 
the feeling they had for you. You know how the first time you felt like fall hard, the first time you ever felt in love, like real, like you, I was in love with them. I was doing all this crazy shit. I remember the first guy I thought I loved or the first girl I thought I loved. This is what this person feels. It's like it's been a while since they felt like this about anybody. Okay. All right, let's see. Show this fucking... There's a nine in here. I'm going to get his ass. Okay, we got the ten of swords. Okay, okay. Hold on. The five of swords. Yeah, see, now somebody here, to be honest with you, I do feel like this is somebody here. They, maybe they tried a couple times to make a move on you or this is their plan too and it doesn't work. I feel like you might be making this person wait a little bit, which is good. Like, you know, it's not easy to get you in the bed. It's not easy to get you to open up to have sex. And this is what they want. It's like it is making them kind of go crazy. What else is popping up for you? It is the five of wands. Mm. Now, for some of you guys, this might be an argument or a fight starting out. And it's like, maybe you guys, y'all start getting into it. And it's like, it's not even that serious. Why are you being so, like, petty schmetty? Like, calm down. And it's like, it's because they it's, it's the sex. What they're really mad about is the fact that they're not, it's like, why ain't we, you know, they want sex from you. I picked this up like a couple weeks ago. It's like somebody here is picking, picking with you, fights with you because, you know, y'all ain't having sex yet or they want to have sex. I also feel like this could be somebody here, to be honest with you, even though they're like very fucking attractive, okay, maybe even extremely attractive, they don't have no res. Like, they don't know how to flirt. They might not have no game. They don't know how to come on to people. Somebody here is used to people always coming on to them because they're fine. Because they're attractive. Someone here could also be like a, a son of Shango's. Okay, so, you know, or avatar of his. So, he never, had to, he never had to use his skills to really put in the work to get anybody. Now, this person has to figure this out. And this could be somebody here, to be honest, but be honest with you. It's, they do. There's times where they will feel and or, or could possibly think like they should just walk away because they ain't got no game child for real yes. they don't <laughs> it's so strong it's so crazy but they ain't got no game i don't know if it's that they lack confidence in the area it's like when you don't use certain skills you lose them because they don't use these certain skills they don't have them to use like to, to try to flirt or to try to get you to talk or to come on or to make you open up they that will be they're used to other people doing that to them so i don't it, and it, it's making them angry Mm. Mm. The Knight of Cups. They want to make you an offer. I'm going to be honest with you. If you end up being the one that comes on to this person, y'all might have some real angry sex. It might be good, but it might be a little bit strong. Maybe what you're like not used to because it's like, damn, you made me wait all this fucking time. Like y'all might even get into role playing. It's like them telling you how they felt. It's like they're trying to also figure out five of swords. You know, like somebody here also, it, this hurt their ego. Their ego could have been bruised. They could have even felt like a little betrayed by you. Like what? You know, I don't, I'm not good enough. I'm not sexy enough. But you don't think I'm fine. Like you don't want me. You see this? I'm fucking Shango, son. You don't see this shit? You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Something like that is here. The queen of cups. You're very nurturing. It's your energy they want it. Um, you're very kind. Somebody here wants your sweetness, but they don't know how to get it. It's like, how do I get this person? They got to get in your cup. And it's like, okay, so some of you guys are empathic. You're very intuitive. Um, they know they got to make you feel something. And they have no idea how to do this. I'm going to be honest with you. Uh, maybe they know certain things, but they really, to be honest with you, or they lack in these areas they have no it's like their game is really whack it's like as fine as they are you would think they have game but that's why they don't because they're that fine that's i have to be honest and that's the problem with a lot of people that are like conceited and this person could be conceited you could be dealing with somebody that's conceited the king of cups oh my gosh you got options you have options this is somebody here, to be honest with you, because of this person's cockiness, they could possibly, they're going to lose you to somebody else. And this is somebody, this is the King of Cups that know how to feed the Queen of Cups. It's like, 
you have a relationship here, somebody that you understand better, and it's, it's because of this person's lack of concerning. And this could be some, oh, they want to fight this person over you. The five of wands, the king of cups, the queen of cups, and the king of wands. You got to be fucking kidding me. That's what she said. Now it makes sense. So they're going to fight over you? Or this could be like an argument or something over you? And this person could be on some shit. Well, what? Like, I'm. they could think they look better than this King of Cups. Because the King of Ones usually does. And it's not even about the looks. It's the it's a, it's about how you how how you feel, and that y'all understand each other better. And they don't get that, so they might feel betrayed by you. So they might try to fight both of y'all. You you have an ex that's coming to fight both of y'all for being together. And it's all because of what they're like. I feel like you are schooling this person. Like, yeah, you fine, but what else? Okay, you look good. Okay, but what else? You don't know how to step out to the plate. You might even question this person. Like, do you? will you fight for me? Will you stand up for me? But you you scared to get a little dirty? You scared to, like, get sweat? If it comes down to it, you know, you, you can't. It's like the same thing that turns you on, turns you off from this person. But you end up manifesting another a soulmate here. And this is somebody that you're like equals. Y'all are energy. Y'all are a connection. Y'all are a vibe. And there's an offer coming in. So maybe they want to fight with you. So this could be someone here that wants to fight with you because you start dating somebody else. And maybe your person tries to defend you or feel like they want to defend you. But this person honestly feels betrayed. You have every right to like feel that way. And really, this person is mad because you didn't you you got a connection, y'all got a great vibe. It is easily seen. Plus, they didn't get a chance or opportunity to have sex with you or the way they wanted to. Yeah. So you end up go they feel ghosted by you. Yup. Damn, yep, they do. Damn, the, the hermit, honey, they feel ghosted. And the 4 1 showed itself. Like, so you, they feel ghosted by you. So this person wants to fight you and your new person for ghosting them. And they feel like they look better than them. Child, we got to get this angel number. We got to clarify this. Soulmates, what's going on, child? What's up? Something's going on in the atmosphere. Um, We got 5-5. Five, five. Nine, four. Okay, let's take a look at this and we're going to go a little deeper. 1231 is the angel number here. 5594 five, motives you to cultivate more zest. Have faith and trust your angels that everything happens for the right reason. Um, I feel like you're into you came in this person's life to teach this person something about their self, about their ego, about their cockiness. Somebody here thinks they look too good and too fine, and you show they as you put this person in their place respectfully. And um, this is someone here, it's like they need to have more zest to them or something. And that's what you show them. Damn. So now they want to they fight you and this person. This can even start with you and maybe your person gets involved. They just could be a physical fight about to happen, child, for real. And, and I'm going to tell you what people like this that got ego problems, this King of Wands energy, um, they're not used to being ghosted. They're not used to being placed, replaced, set in their, their rightfully, respectfully, I'm good. They don't know how to handle that kind of shit. That's what she said. So they're mad as hell, like literally, and, and want to pop off and do some crazy shit. That's what she said. It's like, how dare you tell me you cool? How dare you, like, you know, I'm fucking fine as hell, whether this is a man or a woman. What's the five of ones? Someone, this person could also be somebody that works out, like they're into making or something. And that's all good and fine and dandy, but guess what? It didn't get you. It didn't keep you. And I feel like it's been time. Somebody here is, oh, I won't be surprised if the Six of Cups come out. Because it's like, this is karma. It's, or something here is, is overdue. It's like, this person needs, to be honest, they kind of need this. They need to feel this. Yeah, there's no pentacles here. So it's like, you stop spending time or you stop accepting certain things from them. They, just, they feel ghosted, gaslit by you. But respectfully, it's like you just... Saying no. You could have figured out what was really good with them. Like, no, nah, I see you clearly. The Queen of Cups is very intuitive. Damn. 
Deten I told you, they want to fight about you in this shit with them. The Ten of Swords, the Knight of Swords. Damn, the only knight engaged in battle, the Knight of Swords. So it's like quickly, it's like maybe as soon as you make it crystal clear or as soon as they are crystal clear that y'all ain't fucking around and you got somebody else, it's like fat, all of a sudden, real quick, they try to come back in and start some shit. Yep, they are. They're going to try to sneak back in. And this is the start shit. Yep, Knight of Pentacles and to slow things down between you and your person. That's exactly what I'm getting here. Yeah, Three of Swords because they want y'all to break up. <laughs> Child, what's the Ten of Swords? Oh my gosh, what's the ten of, ten of Swords? And they were scared that this was going to happen, or this was what, what was happening with the Nine of Swords energy. What's the Ten of Swords? This is crazy. What's the Ten of Swords? And for some of you guys, it's like they sit down, they think they put their sword together. So there could have been like three or four things. And they started putting shit together and they found out or it's like, well, why are you sitting? No, I'm good. I don't, it's cool. Or, you know, I'm doing other things right now. You know, I feel like it's best that we put space. Maybe they didn't get it a few times. And then it's like when you say it the last time they get it, like, oh, you're not fucking with me. Okay, then they found out about this other person. What's the Ten of Swords? <laughs> bad as fuck. Shit. What's going on? Ooh, what's that? The eight of cups. Yep, because you walked away. Yep, you moved along, and you they so they looked at you like. First of all, you're in your right. You have every right to tell somebody that you're no longer interested, or you want to like talk to somebody else. Yeah, and accept the offer somewhere else. Like you can't get mad at that. Like y'all never had sex, or none of that. Maybe you also saw that this person like. I mean, you know, some people where it's like physical touches or love language do struggle the most with sexual, like, energy, sexual addictions. But maybe that was also something you saw. It's like, what's the nine of swords? Mm -mm. We got to look in all these people. You know, we about to tap. We about to tap. And I want to see the King of Wands, this person. I'm going to take a look at this King of Cups. And I'm going to take a look at you, Queen, Queen of Cups. Scorpion, Libra, Cancerian, Virgo. The, the, yep, the four ones. They were scared this was going to happen. Yep. So they might have been feeling this already by like looking at your actions or something like that. Yep, they did. The five of swords. But they end up figuring out what's going on. And I feel like somebody here also figured out like, so is it is it that you're not ready? You're not dating now or you don't want to date me? And to come to, fact out, come to find out like you're just not dating them. Like you're still dating. It just didn't work out or what you expected from them. And that's what I'm saying. Like, how you gonna get mad at some shit like that? Yep, Ace of Cups. And it's hurt their feelings. Yeah, it does. Yep. <sighs> there is like, it is jealousy. Show me the King of Wands. Let's look at this King of Wands. What's the King of Wands? Show me the King of Wands. Show me the King of Wands, please. Some of you guys could have just drunk something with coconut in it, coconut water, or you like coconut. Someone here has a cat that adores you, the king of pentacles. Yeah. So it, now they want to offer you something. It's like, it's too late now, or you're like, well, you should have been did that. So, because they're jealous. Yep, the king of swords. Because they're jealous. So it's like they turn into the king of pentacles to the king of swords because they want to offer you something and maybe you don't accept it. Nope. And it sends them back juggling. Like, what? Maybe they try to do it more than once, too. Yep, the two of swords. And they can't fucking believe it. That's what she said. Like, when I tell you, you super duper checked somebody. Yeah, see, they really, they really, 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 really got a bruised ego. When I tell you, you super duper checked this person, you super duper checked this person. Okay, let's see what else is going on. They are fucking pissed. They are mad. Because even though they may look good in their situation as person, you see that they're toxic. They got bad. It's like something you see like there is something about their ways. It's like for some of you guys, I'm going to be honest with you. This could be a masculine male. It's like they wanted you to treat them like it's like y'all's roles was was switched. 
because of what they're used to people doing to them, towards them, being open to them, chasing them and shit like that. Like they wanted you to pursue them. Something like that. Okay, what's the king of wands? Show me something else on this person. Oh, yep. Boom. This is an official person. They could be like leader inspired in their community or something like that. Yep, the eight of pentacles. Whatever they do for work also could also um, give them some kind of level up or some shit like that. Yeah, I told you, nine of swords. But you would be, they deal with like bad anxiety and shit like that. They have anxiety issues. Someone here also could be like, um, when it comes to being anchored down or um, in a relationship, they're scared or something. Change. Yep, I told you. You were supposed to help this person change. Um, didn't I say through, um, Shock War 33? Was it this? In Ascended Master 22? I think I said it in this reading. I'm not sure. Or was it last reading? So Ascended Master 22 or 33 is here. 99 is also an angel number. Yeah, see, because they're used to getting attention. Six of Wands. That's, that's what this was. Okay, let's move along. Now let's look at your new person. Oh, let's get a written message from this person. Let's see what they want to say to you. Mm. What's the written message on this king of wands? This person, somebody here could have ser served in a service or something, or the army, the navy. Give me a written message from this person. Damn. I know I failed you and let you down big time. They know what's up. This person knows what's up. They know. That's what she said. And this is also somebody here that also could have known that was it, but because they was too cocky, they learned an old child. This lesson, I won't be surprised if Saturn come out neither. Um, what else is going on? You deserve much more than what I could give you at the time. Someone here, I heard this from somebody. Um, was it Hassan? Some of you guys might watch Hassan Campbell. A person can't give you something they don't have. So it's like you schooled them. It's like this energy helped them learn to do something they should have been doing as a person. And they're like masculine or feminine. So now, now they can say through this energy and through what they had to step up to do to try to offer you. They can say they know how to do it now. Boom. Hurting you was not the plan. That's it. I wish I could have loved you the way you deserve to be loved. That's it. So, yeah. Shit. Okay, let's look at this new person for you. Someone here, this person's very loving, caring, is just as nurturing as you. Your body language, your love language match. For some of you guys, you could be in a nurse field. Y'all might end up being parents. This could be somebody here that you manifest a child with. This King of Cups for some of you guys. Show me the King of Cups. So many King of Cups. Oh, they watch you, Page of Swords. Oh, this is somebody that watch you. Judgment. Let me tell you something. Damn. Now this could be also somebody here that tells like uh, they said little white lies. This could be you know. First of all, we all struggle with different shit. So let me just say that. So this could be somebody. Now they lying about something. They don't want you to judge them about a secret. Uh-uh, we about to find it out. Yep, they don't. They don't want you to know about. Okay, this could be. Oh shit. Somebody here used to be a drug addict, or they have a past. So they might not look like it. They might not look like what they've been through or something like that. They just said, what they lying about? Two of Swords, King of Pentacles. Oh, this person is lying about what they do for money, too. The star card, yeah. Um, this could be also somebody here that is, they like to stunt a little bit, and they heal. I told you, they went through some kind of massive healing. Um, they could have had to let go of a very toxic part of their life. Maybe they're not comfortable with opening up or something like that. And this is also somebody here, they'll lie about how much money they make. They might tell you they make, uh, or they might say they make a lot of money, but really they work two jobs. 
but they make it seem like they got a big job that pays them a lot but it's really two like average jobs which nothing's wrong with so i don't understand that yeah but they want to take a chance in this connection they really like this relationship this is also somebody here that really likes coming over your house okay yeah honey the devil but they got some toxic ways they healed something from the devil this person escaped the devil whatever the devil planned or strategized in their life it did hook them or sink his teeth in them for a while but they got away from them they did they healed something i mean that is good i feel like this is also somebody here that's still embarrassed behind that or embarrassed what they went through or something like that but they want this connection this could be why they're uh, um because they healed in whatever they did they got they got away from the devil they freed herself from the devil whatever they did you are to give an opportunity to have a relationship an opportunity to have a family again always wanted to have that family structure oriented based with the king and the queen of cups here and a baby being in her arms like they get another opportunity show me something else on this king of cups I'm sorry, I need to see some tea on this King of Cups. Wait a minute. What's, show me the tea on the King of Cups. What's the tea on this King of Cups? We need a little bit. A little bit more tea on this King of Cups, baby. Then we're going to get a written message from them. Okay, what's the tea on this King of Cups here? Damn. Yep, see, this is somebody here. They do lie. They have a bad reputation. Um... Somebody here also might like go by a nickname. They just said that. Something about a nickname, different name. But that's why. Um, this is somebody carless and creeping. This is somebody here that does sneak and like to watch you. Um, and this could be somebody here, you know, um, they are they are, they could be having car problems. Or maybe right now they don't have a vehicle or, you know, they're getting their life back in order. Wasting time into you. I feel like this person is into you and they really don't want to waste time with you. It's like they know what they want. This is somebody that's coming in strong. They know what they want. Um, yeah, ignoring. Um, I do feel like this person could feel like... I don't know if they want you to ignore something bad in their reputation. They want you to... It's like they don't want to shine no light on who they used to be because it will pass judgment on them. Yep, always partying. This person was always partying. They were, like, doing too much. They were, you know, always partying, always in the club, seeing, always in the streets. Had led them down, like, a dark-ass path, too. Yeah, and love triangle. Yep, third parties. You know, they. I mean, they could have lived, like, a very, like, destructive lifestyle. Maybe they were doing drugs, fucking a lot, having one-night stands. Yep, romantic love affairs. Someone here could have been into threesomes and shit. Like, they was just doing shit. And this could be also somebody here that had drugs and alcohol could have played, like, a big part in that or something. Always partying. Um, it could just be drinking. It, they could, it could have been whatever it is. You know, an AA meaning everybody's there. They all have different pathways. So, one of the um, things I noticed from my dad... One of the questions they ask you, like, which which drug is the worst drug? Everybody has a different answer. Or everybody says one drug, usually, right? And it's like, no, the one that got you here. All you guys are here. So yours could have been this, theirs could have been that, but y'all are all here for the same reason. So um, it could be alcohol for some of you guys. It could be other things involved here that could have led to other things that they got involved in. Damn. All right, let's see. Um, I want to see something on you. Give me the Queen of Cups. Oh, thank you, Holy Spirit. We got to get a written message on this person. Okay. What's a written message from this King of Cups? I feel like y'all, I mean, but you you see the potential. There's a chance. And it's like, even through all of that, you still see a better chance with this person than this person here. Okay, that not speaks volume. Okay, what's a written message? Oh, shit. How could you ever forgive me the mess I made? Um, will you be forgiven if they tell you about the mess they made in their life at one point? Um, this is someone that is still figuring out their shit. They're still figuring things out. Um, you are too nice. I don't deserve your kindness. They like, they love your sweetness. Someone here could feel like because of who they used to be, they don't deserve who you are now. What they're getting. I can't talk to you right now. It is dark without you. See, this is somebody here that's going to avoid you having certain conversations with you, too. 
maybe they always i don't want to talk about it right now or you notice like you're always talking about your past what you've been through and when you ask them certain things they don't want to talk about it why do i deserve someone like you i can't make it up that's what she said they will avoid whatever they do to uh, talk ab about their past they just did that why can't i move on from you y'all might go through something okay like, y'all still have a relationship. You still want to go through things with this person like any normal relationship does. Okay, but this is some of the things y'all might, um, like, have to, like, handle together. I can't handle your kind of love. And that's what I'm saying. Like, you give this you give this person, like, an opportunity to live again. People don't believe in them. They don't. And it's because of what they who they used to be. But you do. And this could be someone here, to be honest. They might even second guess y'all at times. Mm. So you're their gift after they escaped or healed something that they got away with dealing with the devil. You're the gift of life. You breathe life into them and you're going to give life to them for you guys that's manifesting a child with this person. All right, let's take a look at you, honey. Because you is the T. Let's take a look at you. <laughs> All right, let's see. Let's look at this Queen of Cups. Ooh. Damn! Look at you, how priestess out here doing big things. I'm so proud of you, sis. I'm so proud of you, bro. Okay, I'm sorry. Let me calm down, child. I know I'm, I'm dramatic. Yeah! Ooh, the nine of ones in reverse. You're letting your guard down and you're living. And that is good. And that's very hard for a high priestess to do that. Yep, because you did a lot of healing work. Yeah. So you did a lot of healing work. And also because of your job that you could have did with this first soulmate and you did it very well, swiftly. Boom, here you are. Yeah, the two of swords. Now, for some of you guys, I just heard that there was times that you didn't think you were going to make it or you didn't think you were going to get this relationship with the two of swords energy. Give me something else on this queen of the cups. But you do. It's right here. Oh, yeah. Mm, no more third parties. No more. Um, also, you standing up to that as well. You just standing in your truth. You get a relationship. Yeah, you get to move. You get to move on. You get to move to a different territory. And this is what's going on. Yep, the Knight of Swords. Oh, my gosh. This is going to happen fast. Now, for some of you guys, I'm going to be honest with you. It's going to be a little girl. Mm. It might be a little girl. Yep, but you end up being a main woman to somebody. You end up getting this relationship. So I like that. Okay. We're going to rock with that. All right. They said enough said. Okay, cool. So let's go ahead and get a love oracle for you. I like this soulmates. Okay. I see y'all doing big things out there. My sisters and brothers, high priestess and hair funds. I see you, baby. Yes, finally. Okay. Let's see. Because it's very hard. Sometimes, especially for spiritual people. That are spiritually connected and shit. Okay, what's the love oracles? Time out. I told you, this person's an alcoholic. And I told you, I'm going to go through something. This is connected to your new person coming in for you guys, whether this is a man or woman. Maybe this is, you make them, y'all take like a little time out. And that, I saw that. We just kind of went over that. That's why. And this is like every time you get drunk, every time you go out partying around certain people or something like that, maybe, you know, you see certain things. Yeah. I t oh, my gosh. This, so, some of you guys, this is a marriage coming in. It could be Commonwealth. Take it how it resonates. Yeah, your ancestors, is, I told you. Blessings from the universe. Your ancestors is working this out. I like this. Cool. Your ancestors approve. Let's get some universal messages. Okay, so mates. <laughs> Good. What's the universal messages? I've been picking up on a lot of majaz. There's a lot of blessings from the universe coming in from the cosmos for the majaz, for doing your spiritual work. This is a spiritual marriage, yep. Y'all might have even like a spiritual based marriage. Maybe you're also your ancestors are pulling you to. And this could be also you adding spiritual customs in your marriage. Like some of you guys might believe in jumping the broom. Jumping the broom is another one a lot of people like to add for spiritual reasons. Some of you guys go ahead and do your research on um, jumping the broom. Okay, to make a long story short, for uh, especially for ancestors that go back for a long time. 
you know, um, especially when it comes to like slavery, that's all they had to represent that they were married. They would jump the broom together and then they would go and hang it up, you know, um, in their shacks or whatever they had to live in and that would represent their marriage. That's all they had. They had nothing else. So, um, you know, to this day, a lot of people um, still like jump the broom or whatever that is uh, for you, right? I just saw a big glass wrapped up in ropes being like stepped on. So, I, and I just heard, what's that? Can you say that one more time, please? Mm, say it one more time. Mes, me, me, mesito? Mesito? Is that Jewish? Mesito? Because I'm seeing little huts on the head. So there's a spiritual thing that you're you're going to add to your marriage. That's what your ancestors are pulling you to do. They're putting this together. So you might feel led to do that is what I'm picking up on here. Yeah. Okay. Somebody goes all the way back. Oh, this is an inventor. Okay. This is somebody. Yeah. Their ancestors go back to the singing trap. Yeah. So this is also your person also knows how to also reinvent their self. This is somebody that's very clever. We got B. We have A. Sacral chakra. Oh, yeah. And this is somebody here. It's like you get pregnant real fast. You could be a son or daughter of Mama Yamaja or Avatar of hers, but you're going to get pregnant real fast for some of you guys. Sigma, spiritual people. Here we go. This is my Sigma higher fonts and high priestess getting somebody. Yeah, I love this. Oh, we need this. We really need this in the world. I'm just saying in general. Yes, love it. Okay, very spiritual, very intuitive. Both of you guys could be Sigmas. Um, you could be a different Sigma than he is or she is. This is dope as hell for real. Invite me to your wedding. <laughs> I want to come. I love it. I love shit like that. I am a crier. I cry when I see real love. It it, it, it does something to me, honey. I get, I get emotional. I cry at weddings. I'm the person that cries at the wedding. I can't help it. I just... It's like... It is. I can't help it. I don't even want to get into it, honey. I might cry right here, y'all. Okay? <laughs> it's like, yeah, it's beautiful. Okay. Yeah. Something you planted that it, it, planting is going to grow with this person. You could have already started planting your new harvest, and here it is. And you healed. You healed yourself and planted new seeds. Good for you. Good for you, which is very great for a Sigma on, on a lot of reasons, especially on a spiritual growth. So here you go. This is your gift coming in. Yeah, because you learn from life. That's why you're, and then, so you also had the opportunity to teach another soulmate what they need to learn, even though they try to get mad and do whatever they're going to do, but it still helps them learn. And you're able to move on. And here you go, manifesting a real relationship. This is so good. Earth magic, yep. Now, if you don't know, planting is a form of earth magic. Um... Getting your hands and ground, grounding yourself. Um, maybe you guys also just basically watering a plant, growing it every day. Um, there is a lot of like uh, means that is uh, written on, you know, growing a plant every day. It's just like growing a relationship. Some days it needs more dirt. Some days it needs more water. Some days it needs new sunlight to grow. But you water it what it needs to grow every day. And it grows into a beautiful flower, like a relationship. Some shit like that. Y'all might need to look that up. I forgot what it's called. There's a poem like that. I might have to look it up and um, link it below for you guys. You know I love you all. All right? If I know it, you know I'm going to tell it. I don't give a fuck if you heard it a million times. If it's, if, if it's in this and you need to hear it again, I'm going to tell you again. I don't believe in that. Well, you can't say that because, no, if it's for you to say, if you still need to hear it, and Spirit told me to tell you, I'm going to tell you. Even if you heard it five times, even from other readers, other spiritual people, other whatever, you still need to hear it. For some reason, then you need to hear it. Just saying that. Okay. All right. What's the signs of planets? Okay. Oh, thank you. What's this? Nurture. Because you are a nurturer. Water your plants. You see them flowers so they can grow. That's what you're doing. Yeah. Uh-huh, Virgo. The house of health. You healed a lot. This might even add to your health. It is. Pisces in the second house. You could be um, strong water energy. I can't make this up. Y'all are the cups energy. Um, also looking where water is in your chart. Cancer and Pisces and Scorpion. Earth signs, Virgo. Yep, seventh house, Libra. And here's your relationship. Oh my gosh, soulmates. I love this. This is this is uh, awesome. Congratulations to you guys. Oh my gosh, I'm so happy for you. Okay, my sigma's out there. I'm sending you lots of love, healing vibrations. All right, 
Yes, this is dope. All right, we're going to shut it down right here. I hope this helps you out in more than one way. If I resonate with you in any way, don't forget to hit that like button. Don't forget to hit that bell. That will keep you tapped in and you will be notified when your messages are ready for you guys. Soulmates, stay dope. I will catch you in your next video upload. I'll share it in a month.